This is Brad with Organolon, and today we're going to be talking about why the grass underneath your shade tree isn't growing properly. Spoiler alert, the fix is pretty easy. What we find is that the grass under the tree starts out nice and thick in the spring, and then later in the year, the grass starts to look weak and thin. As the season progresses, even if the lawn is receiving more fertilizer and more water, the grass just gets thinner and thinner until it almost is mostly dirt and mud. This is a problem we see all the time, and it can be very confusing to customers and even lawn care professionals. I have even had some customers tell me that they have had a landscape company resaw the lawn multiple times and the grass keeps dying. I hear comments like, the tree roots must be killing the grass or the soil must be toxic. The good news is the fix is pretty easy. And no, the tree roots aren't killing the lawn. And no, the soil is not contaminated. The main cause of the problem is the wrong type of grass is growing underneath the shade tree. Kentucky bluegrass is the grass type that is most widely used in cool season climates because it is easy to sod. The problem with bluegrass is it needs a lot of sun. In general, it requires about 70% sunlight per day to stay healthy and strong. In late spring, as the tree's canopy fills out and the shade intensifies, the grass also begins to thin out. The thinning of the lawn underneath the shade typically occurs sometime in the summer after the leaves have been on the tree for a while. This typically correlates at the same time when the temperatures outside are getting really hot and many people make the wrong conclusion that the heat is killing the grass. The natural reaction is to add more water to the area that is thinning, which actually makes the problem worse. This overwatering starves the grass roots of oxygen because water replaces oxygen in the soil. This double whammy of a lack of sunlight plus the drowning of the grass roots creates a thin lawn and a muddy mess. The fix to this problem is easy and it can be solved in two steps. First, I recommend overseeding with a turf type tall fescue seed blend because this grass type can tolerate full shade. Secondly, I recommend reduce the watering in the full shade area. I always preach following the principles of the one, two, three, two, one technique, but there's an exception to that rule. And that is in full shade, we recommend following the one, two, one technique. The shade area doesn't need to be watered as much because even if it's hundred degrees outside, it might only be 70 degrees in the shade. Basically, in the peak heat of the summer, when the full sun and partial shade areas are receiving three days per week watering, the full shade area, we only recommend two days per week of watering. To program this on your sprinkler clock, I recommend using a schedule A for the zones that are in full sun or partial sun and follow the one, two, three, two, one technique. Then utilize schedule B for the full shade areas and program these zones for the one, two, one technique. You might be thinking to yourself, how can I use this technique if one of my sprinkler zones is half in full shade and the other half is in full sun? We have a workaround for that. What we do is we swap out the nozzles that are in the full shade area with low output nozzles. And these could be either MP rotator or low output rotary nozzles and then with the heads that are in the full sun area, we leave those as higher output nozzles. A good rule in lawn care is if you're ever in doubt if you should be watering the lawn more or watering it less, I strongly recommend going with less water. The reason I make this recommendation is because it only takes about 10 to 14 days to repair a lawn that has been underwatered, but it can take one to two years to repair the soil if it has been severely overwatered. I hope this helped explain why some of the grass underneath your shade tree is not growing as well as it should be and some of the steps you can take to fix the problem. To learn more about lawn care and lawn care tips, please visit Organolawn.com.